I don't know if everyone remembers this, so about five years ago. Okay. Uh, it wasn't Marcellus, but it was, it was gas drilling. And people that were supposed to get royalty payments yeah. when it came time for the checks to come, they all came for like $19.42. Well, so they sued. When it went to court, uh, the leases had all been written. And in the print, it said that your royalties would be based on profit after expenses, blah, 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 blah. Well, by the time they ran all the numbers, they jury rigged it all so that there was no profit. And these people got absolutely nothing. They totally devastated their land. And I can't remember if that was Cabot Gas. I'm thinking maybe it was. But it was, it was a huge court case. Um, I'd just like to say very quickly, on the point of education, that there is so much out there that goes beyond our scope of interest sometimes. Um, in the Wall Street Journal, six months ago, it was reported that the Securities and Exchange Commission, how many people go and read what they do every day, uh, had put out a warning to all investors uh, who were considering investing or had invested in the Marcellus Shale to be warned that it was, and this is their quote, a Ponzi scheme, that they could drill all over this country and they would never, ever, ever make back enough money for anybody to get back their investment. Yeah, so they, people need to really read beyond the scope of some of the things we see in front of us. The financial press is full of that, but the <coughs> average cost of drilling and fracking a well when compared to the expected gas that comes back, you're looking at a cost per well of five to nine dollars per well. Uh, you're, uh, that, 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 that is uh, per uh, MCF, per unit gas. Uh, but the current price of, a, of that unit is about $3.40. So under current conditions, there is absolutely no way that any investor can make a dime. And it's all over the financial press. Mm -hmm. okay. So, so this thing, this business about profit, I've not heard that, but yeah, that's going to come up. This makes me think that as we continue to educate ourselves and bring in experts to speak, that uh, the financial analyst kind of expert on this matter would be really very different too. So far, we've heard from people who are experts in drilling or experts in financial returns. Uh, we haven't heard any financial discussion of this, so I think that would be good. I've made a note of that to try to find somebody to speak with about that. Uh, I think what I want to do now, it's getting late, um, I want to wrap things up. Um, it sounds like uh, from, from the comments and questions uh, are that uh, at this point, um, a valid kind of question doesn't seem like you're the best way to go. It sounds like there's a lot of support for survey kind of work to see what gets feedback from, from citizens that way. Uh, I guess my question to my fellow commissioners is, uh, what, what do we think of um, surveying people to see what they, their feelings are. What do we think of putting money out there? It's going to cost money to do a survey. To, uh, to find a survey company, a reputable survey team, what kinds of questions we want to begin entertaining. So uh, I'd like to hear from uh, Mr. Walker and staff for their thoughts on, on what we should do with surveying. I think it's a good idea. Uh, really, town wise, what would make any difference how we vote? We vote for it or against it. It's going to happen anyhow on my vote. We can't stop it. We don't have a power to stop it. Wish we could, but yeah. So, really, why do I take a look? And nothing we can do about it. Mr. Tracker, do you believe that? Um, despite what Mr. Cameron said about my comments, I still want to repeat education is the key to the ultimate right decision in this. And the more we educate this ourselves, the smarter we become, and the, the right decision will be closer at hand. Uh, a survey really is even premature because a lot of us still don't know enough. Uh, we have plenty of time. It's not going to happen tomorrow. It's not happening five years from now. We've got an awful lot of time to become very smart and savvy about what to do about this as a community and as each and every individual landowner who makes up the community. So I, the survey really, I, I think, is premature. Uh, the only thing it does is tell us what we're thinking between ourselves and meetings like this, uh, we learn that. So that's what I think. 
be pleased for new comments. Well, I guess I'd like to touch on a few things. Number one, I heard you mention that the drilling breaks may work. I beg to differ with that to some aspect. I talked to a, a very good friend of mine here in Richwood, his name is John Kessler, and the contracting company, does excavation work called forever. He's basically on the steps of shutting down, going bankrupt, whatever you want to call it, so the drilling can come to Richwood. Now, he's hired about a half a dozen people working for him. Says his business is the best it's been in the last 20 years. He's got about a five year deal with this company, building roads, clearing lots, whatever, hauling gravel, people to death. So he brought some jobs. Maybe not a lot, maybe not a bunch, maybe not forever, but it brought to you. My cousin, Howard Walker, friend of Boston down here, they just between the land drivers off to the oil and gas truck building roads. Now they're bringing half the trucks in Wolfsburg to keep up with them. So he's bringing, he's bringing jobs to the Pope County that ain't even here yet. He's keeping us going. He's keeping people right here from getting laid off. As we speak, it's happening every day. I pass the trucks every morning coming to Palm Gravel to Richwood. So as far as the jobs, it may not be directly with the oil and gas company, but they provide jobs for the county. And uh, Another thing I'd like to touch, I know we've been talking about education, and I'm probably lacking in a lot of areas of education, but I've read a lot of books about mechanic work, I've read a lot of books about farming, I've read about a lot of different things, logging, cutting timber, and yet to this day have I ever seen a book that you could read that will prepare you for anything you want to pack. I read a book one time on how to pull a cat. First time I had to pull a cat, they left a lot of parts out of it. <laughs> <laughs> my, my experience of that is we need to get people that's in the industry, been there beside the drill rig, putting a hole in the ground, putting the pipe in the ground, pouring the concrete, that knows how it works. These people that studies it after it's done and goes back and looks at it, don't have no idea what it takes to get done and believe it. And I've never been around here on the rig, but I've been around enough construction and logging and farming to know the people that break the books has never done very much in it. So I feel we need to get people that's been on site to educate us as to what goes on and we'll get more of a feel of how it's done. Now whether it's done correctly or not, I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But at least they can possibly tell you what it takes to do that. So I just want at this time to see a show of hands and I know a few people have done that, of the people that thinks that would support this being put on the ballot. If you don't raise your hand, I'm assuming you do not want this issue put on the ballot. That's why we're here tonight. So does anybody in this room think this issue needs to be put on the ballot? Three people? Anybody else? I'd like to move at this time that we elect not to put this issue on the ballot. Well, uh, we don't do most of the native sense. Well, they can all play. We think about them while we're going to put them in the ballot. I don't think this should go in the ballot. I don't think we're wrong. It's a matter of proceeding there. Typically, it really doesn't take a motion to not do something. Uh, but we've done it before. Haven't we said we take a motion to not do something? Well, I'll make the motion that we just don't take it. put this issue on the ballot. Tell me, can you change what you think? I'll move that we vote whether we're going to put this issue on the ballot or not. Your motion to not put it on the ballot is, is okay. Technically, it's fine. Okay. So we don't typically do a motion to not. But that's your motion. Well, I think it's going to prevent this issue from coming up again. It's obvious that nobody here wants it. And I feel we need to vote on it and get it set. That's why we're here tonight. At this time, I think it should just be tabled. Okay. Uh, well, there's a motion on the table. Uh, I'll second it. Uh, any further discussion amongst the commissioners? Robert's rules of order. If you table it, you don't bring it back up at the next meeting. It's over with. Uh, no, that's not correct. <laughs> yeah, that's Robert's rules of order. Um, it has a table. It cannot be tabled for one meeting. Well, there's, there's no motion to table. The motion is to not put on the ballot. Um, so, the, my thoughts on that are, uh, 
more discussion on this. It's been moved, seconded for further discussion. Um, JD, what are your thoughts on the survey? My thoughts would be if you want a survey, we could print up a few simple questions of some kind and drop them off at the local stores. There you go. And let every single person that has a name in Coconuts County have a say. That's my discussion. I'll take 10. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll take 20. That's exactly not the right Way to do the I guess that's not the right way to do it. I guess my question is, what are our feelings generally as a commission? Let's, let's have some quiet, please. Let's have some quiet, please. What are our feelings as a commission on uh, further discussing surveying ideas? That's, I'm not looking for an answer to what we do for a survey. Uh, that's, that's what I'm asking. And we in spirit uh, appreciate the the opportunity to discuss the survey in this going forward. How much is survey going to cost? Right. Mm -hmm. Is it going to be a large amount? So, um, it's well, basically we, just an opinion is all it is anyway. I'm looking for opinion. So why do we need to pay somebody to do it? If we're not paid for print up what we want on there, we probably need to be replaced. <laughs> <laughs> That brings us full circle to why we need to put something on the ballot in the Okay, well, um, I move that we go home. It's been moved and seconded that we have not put ourselves on the ballot um, in any way. Um, no further discussion. All in favor of that motion say aye. 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 Aye.